Let him see it. I'm the first to say in the Keep your head on the swivel and those feet ready to move. You're about to match up with a D lineman in the 99 club, and he can bring a lot of pain. Might want to get the ice bath ready too. You see, it's two type of people in life. There's people that wake up and wish they had it. There's people that wake up and go get it. We go get it, baby. Photo poor, so photogenic. All I know is to go, go get it. Shoot my shot, now I ain't gon' miss it. All I know is to go, go get it. All my life, I've been a go get up. All I know is to go, go get it. Wake up in the morning, kiss my son, then go, go get it. Go, go get it. Go get it, photo poor, so photogenic. All my life, I've been a go get up. Wake up in the morning, kiss my son, then go, go get it. Top floor, top dog, like I just signed a TDE. Gang, 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 gang. No, we all gotta eat. Up late, bills do, rent do, I ain't been asleep. Woo. Looking in the mirror, all I see is everything that I wanted to be. My city depended on me, that's on GOD. Grew up watching my mom become what daddy couldn't be. I ball like MLB, these Bottega boots ain't cheap. My car ain't got no key. <laughs> The NFL playoffs are here, and this matchup on Wild Card Weekend is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Ram So the Colts now coming out for their opening drive. right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Delay of game. Option. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Back to throw. To the right side, complete to Taylor. They'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. They'll run. This is Jonathan Taylor. The completion on first didn't get much. You know, the run on second doesn't get a whole lot either. Rob, you're a good play caller. You've already looked ahead and anticipated this type of situation. Already down in his play. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Carry on Winfrey. Able to drop him for a loss of two. And that will bring up fourth down. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. Who is, man? Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. So a nice run there, and I have to think, a strong running game in the playoffs, maybe even more critical than the regular season. And if you go by the numbers, the man they have running it here, he was the best in the NFL. And since he led the league in rushing yards, I think it means he's going to see the ball a lot in this game, too, because that's what they're built like. That's what they're built around. 
So I think the offensive line, the tight end, the wide receivers, everyone is coming together. Want him to get the ball and get it off it, and they want to carve some holes out there for him. They'll go to the air here on third and two. Open man is Taylor. He's got it. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. Now it's Hines. He'll get this up to about the 44. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he's trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. From the gun, it's Taylor. And he's going to take this across the 50 in the Browns territory. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Second quarter now from Indianapolis with the homestanding Colts in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. They'll look to throw here. And this will be swung out wide for Taylor. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Calling a gain of six on the play, and that'll make it second down. They'll set up to throw. Slant pass hauled in by Campbell. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Now a handoff, Taylor with it. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. No surprise there, Jadevia Clowney with a tackle for loss. We all know how he became one of the most famous players in football, though, don't we? Remember? Oh, that one play. Yeah, that one big-time play was on highlights everywhere. They want to see more of that here in the NFL. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dive defense, blanket in the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. Now the Colts offense gets ready to head back on the field. Just a lone field goal for him so far, trailing 10-3 as they come up first and 10. Let's go now. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Here's second and seven now from the 28. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 44 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Two minutes to play here in this first half of the NFL playoffs. Back, back. 
They'll look to throw now on first down. Finds his big tight end, Mo Alley Cox. And he's going to get this down to the 35 yard line. 23 yards on the play. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. And let's face it, you can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Multiple players getting home there, and it's a loss of two on the sack. The 25-yard line is what they need here. This is third down. They'll drop to throw. And they'll work this down inside the 30. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Here's the Colts now as they get ready for their first possession on offense of the second half. Yeah, both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going, so what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. Second down, another run with Taylor. And a nice pickup as this one gets him to the 10-yard line. Heavy set out there on third and one. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. And he's got Rome. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Obviously an important run to avoid the three and out on your own side of the field. Shows a lot of faith in that offensive unit, doesn't it? That you want to run the ball in that situation. Pick up the first down. Also helps out your defensive guys a little bit, too. Allows them to get at least one more series of downs in order to get some rest. more with Taylor. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Now again to Taylor. And this is going to be a Colts first down as he'll get this up to about the 42. And now timeout is whistled as it appears there's a Brown shaken up on the play. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. They give to Taylor out of the gun. Oh, it shifts past him. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 105 yards rushing for him now as he goes over the century mark here in the wild card round. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. This will be taken in by Michael Pittman. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. He rifles one that's intercepted. And the Browns are going to have the football here at their own 18-yard line. So this defense, Charles, quite a performance. Not working on a shutout, but they have still yet to give up a touchdown as they come up with the interception there. Well, we've seen this from them before because you can move the ball out through the middle of the field. But once you get... Here comes the field general leading his offense back out there for the next possession. And the interception that ended their previous drive, that might be one we look back on and say that was the turning point of this game. Hey, partner, guess what? There's still time for a few more turning points in this ball game. There only one score now. Yeah, true. Maybe we could have some twists and turns. Stay tuned. On second down, it's Taylor. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. 
Six yards the pick up and that's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. And he'll go out of bounds, it appears, right at the 45. That's good for an Indianapolis first down on a gain of 10. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need, down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And he's going to take this across the 50 into Brown's territory. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Now what a first down pickup of eight. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity, usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there, I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now Taylor. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Miles Garrett showing that athleticism as he gets in to make the play. Here we go on second and 12. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Anthony Walker, given that O-line fits, he gets in there to drop him. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out, and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability and a sack resulted. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get you reset. They come up on a first and 10, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. Holding offense. So that time they got the left guard with a hold. And let's face it, in today's ball, you might have that 330-pound guy you're supposed to clear out of there. You might need a little bit of extra help by grabbing the jersey and trying to ride him out. He'll look to throw. Over the middle complete. It's Osborne. It's a big play, yet amazingly, because of how far they had to go. They're still looking at a second down here. Nice, well-coached, a team that understands what's going on. They still have time to work the middle of the field as they just did there. Back to throw. And it's caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Taylor. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up four. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like a... And it's caught! It's a touchdown! So they rally here in the final minute, and they're an extra point away from tying this game. And while it appears the heavy little 
sculpting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown. They're still down one. That extra point is not a given. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And Charles, obviously not much time left. I'm curious to see if there's enough for them to get into field goal range and try to win this thing. And partner, you and I both know the save calls to kneel and just take it into overtime. But it's also very tough to pass up the chance to win it right now as well. But remember, if you do attempt that, it's got to be a big play downfield and still leave yourself enough time to get your field goal unit out there and kick for the win. And he is out of bounds, so a spectacular start. One play, and they're up past the 40. 23 yards, the final tally. On play action, they'll throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. He'll look to throw. That's going to be caught by Allie Cox. Now the Colts will use their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go. And the Colts coming out now. Throwing here on first down. He's got the tight end, Mo Alley Cox. And he will step out of bounds all the way down inside the 40. A huge play there in overtime. 44 yards. All they need is a field goal. Any kind of score here on this second drive would be a game winner. It's first and 10. And this is caught. And he's brought down after a very nice game. 36 yards on the play. They hand off to their big tight end. And he's going to score. It's a touchdown. No flags. And in an overtime thriller, they are moving on in the playoff. No rest. They get to keep playing. And the Colts will play again next weekend. Thanks for watching, everybody, and so long.
brings you the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. And it's brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Bills and the Colts. All that and more coming up next. These folks in the Circle City, they love their Colts, and they have packed the house tonight as we welcome you to Lucas Oil Stadium in downtown Indianapolis. Coming up, it's Divisional Round Saturday, and we've got an AFC battle on tap between the Buffalo Bills and the Indianapolis Colts. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we take a look at the Colts entering play. They come in feeling good after back-to-back -back victories. Meanwhile, for the visiting Bills. Well, down on the field, they're all thinking the same thing that they do every week, Charles. All the work, all the preparation over the past week, it all leads up to these next four quarters. It's suspenseful now, Brandon, but once that ball is kicked, that thought will go out the window. From then on, it's just time to execute and fight for a win. So the Colts now coming out for their opening drive. And they are let out there by their mobile quarterback. It wasn't really his best performance of the year in the wild card round. takes it across the 40-yard line. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Again, it's Taylor. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning it a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. They'll run with Taylor. Oh, that's just not fair. And now room to run. And he's got this down to the 35. 41 yards for him already. An excellent drive to kick off this divisional round matchup. That might be an understatement. First and 10, Taylor now. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Tremaine Edmonds there to bring him down. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. On the handoff, Taylor. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. A gain of 11 that time, and a Colts first down. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the open drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation. We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. The tackle made there by Kyler Fackrell. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Coming up on a second and six. Taylor and just a couple yards there down to the 17. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers to set the edge. And that will be incomplete. The Buffalo defense does its job, and it's fourth down. And he'll 
he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one yard line. Keep in mind they can still get a first down here as they come up on second and inches. They run with Taylor. He lost two there, and it's third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Touchdown! Danny Amendola from three yards out. And the Colts are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Their quarterback leading this offense back out. He had the touchdown pass on their previous drive, and they'll search for another score as they begin here with a first and ten. A carry by Taylor to start the drive. And he'll find a little space. He gets this up near the ten. The last run got six, now second and four. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And he's only able to work this from the 8 to the 10 for a pickup of 2. He'll drop to throw. And he's got Amendola on the connection. And he is going to have the Colts first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. Taylor with it. Dances by him. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. 84 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll look to throw. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. That one goes for 30 yards. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Here's Taylor. Oh, what a move. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Tackle by A.J. Epinesa. Second quarter action, two minutes to go on divisional round weekend. Six yards left on second down. They're going to look to throw. Hits his target to tight end Mo Alley Cox. And they're going to get this down near the 35 yard line. This will be the eighth play of the drive here, third and four. That's into the hands of Mo Alley Cox, the tight end. And he is going to have first down he needed five he got it barely as it will officially go down as a gain of five yards wide open receiver complete and down he goes taking it inside the 10 just shy of the five at the six and now a stoppage and looks like we have a colt who was shaken up on that last play Hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. They'll run here with Taylor. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Again, it'll be Taylor. And he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two-yard line. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Looking to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Mo Alley Cox on a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Colts go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, it held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. 
Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. Their quarterback in this offense heading back out to the field. He's got two touchdown passes on his first two drives, and he'll try again here on drive three. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. So it's on to halftime in this AFC Divisional Round matchup as we send you down. Well, look around the Out come the Colts. They'll have it first here to start quarter number three. And they're in the position they expected to be in. They've got the lead, home crowd behind them, and they're looking toward making that next step in these playoffs. And I think a key for them is to put together some good, long, extended drives. Work the run in a little more with that big offensive line. I'm not saying get away from throwing the football. That's still working. But they run it more effectively. They may get even bigger plays in the passing game. So right now what I'm seeing, I'm seeing an offense just firing off the ball a lot quicker than they can react. And not only that, they're sustaining the blocks too. I'm seeing guys get six, seven yards downfield before there's even a hit of contact. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Now back to throw. A short throw. This is caught by Cox. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. They'll get only three there, so it leaves them with a third and seven ahead. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. Von Miller, he's the culprit, causes a loss of five, and it brings up fourth down. The Colts set to take over here offensively. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily... Shut up! They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Here's second and eight. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Matt Milano leading the surge there as he drops him for a loss of six. We need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. Oh, he's got his tight end, Mo Alley Cox, complete. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. Able to convert on third and 14. A terrific play call. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QB has loved to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Running straight ahead, Taylor stops shy of the 45. Showed off a nice little move on the play, though. Now a stoppage here as we've got a bill shaken up on the play. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Second down, another run with Taylor. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Well, partner, they've been running it well the entire game. And the big guys up front, they're a huge reason why. And now they're reaping the benefits as they continue to open up big holes and gain nice yardage. 
They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Third down turns to first with that five-yard pickup. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower. That front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 47. They run once more with Taylor. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. Really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. On second down, it's Taylor. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense gets a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. has converted two third downs on this drive already. This is third and four. He'll look to throw. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. And Oliver in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that will lead to fourth down. The Colts offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And this has been a tight game to this point. Of course, they usually are at this juncture of the playoffs. But with the lead in the football, the clock right now, their friend, as they try to book their spot in the conference championship next Sunday. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. the middle here's Taylor and for one of the first times tonight he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage the Colts on third down six conversions and nine tries they've done a great job of picking these up this is third and ten back to throw oh he's got a man wide open complete and he'll go down but not before getting this inside the 30. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. Big hook up there, forced to throw it on third down. The connection's going to keep the drive alive and also keep the clock moving. Yeah, from a defensive perspective, didn't get a sack, didn't knock the ball free, didn't break up the pass. The clock keeps running on you. You're in a dire situation now. And now a stoppage. It looks like we have a Colt who was shaken up on that last play. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Second down, another run with Taylor. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Now a give to Taylor. A great move, but it only takes him to the 7. He's dropped there. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Taylor. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. 155 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're doing. And he takes it in for a quick score. Jonathan Taylor taking it in from a yard out. And the Colts are drawing closer to a date in the AFC title game as they extend this fourth quarter lead. 
What a huge touchdown that was, obviously, here in the late stages of the fourth quarter as they try to put this one away. And, Brandon, when they watch the film after this week, they'll be very proud of every rep if they close this game out. Just a few snaps remaining. They can't relax just yet. the Colts offense now as they make their way onto the field. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Back to Taylor on first down. And some room to run now. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in the fourth. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. And they'll indeed take a knee. The last two plays each lose a yard. They'll try to move forward here on third and 12. With four seconds left, we get a timeout call. On third down, here's Taylor. And they'll get to him short of the first down at about the 16. And they have secured a spot in the conference championship. And now you can start to smell it at this point in the season, can't you? You really can because the focus has been one game at a time, not looking ahead. But when you get to the conference championship game and you know you're there, the Super Bowl does loom in the future. stories to tell you're back outside but they still lie whoa yeah take off the fufu take off the cloud chase take off the wi-fi take off the money phone take off the car loan take off the flex and the white loss take off the word jury i'm gonna take 10 steps then i'm taking off top five take off some fabricate streams and the microwave memes it's a real world outside take off your idols take off the runway take off the cairo Take off the Sandro pay, five days stay, take off for the meal, hella follow. Take off the far flat, take off perception, take off the cop with the iPad. Take off the allure, take off the unsure, take off decisions I had. Take off the fake deep, take off the fake woke, take off the I'm broke, I care. Take off the gossip, take off the new logic, they the farm rich, I'm real. Take off the should nail, take off the doje, take off the broken bag. Take all that design up, off and what do you have? You step in the what? You are a pocket. Who you think they talk about? Talk about us. You are a pocket. Who you think they carry up? Carry up us. The word in the panic, the women is standing, the men on the run. The profits are vanished, the law take advantage, the market is crashing, the industry wants. To sleep in the box while they making the mockery we following us. This ain't monopoly watching for love. This ain't monogamy, y'all get it. Jumping on what the hell is that? I gotta relax when I feel. Huh. All my descendants, they come in my sleep and say I am too real. Huh. 
I'm done with the sensitive, taking it personal, done with the black and the white, the wrong and the right. You hoping for change in clericals, I know the feelings that came with burials cries. You out of pocket. Huh. Two ATMs, you step in the what? You out of pocket. Huh. Who you think they talk about? Talk about us. You Shoo. out of pocket. Shoo. Who you think they carry up, carry up us? Serving up for love, dancing in a drought. Hell up to the big step, but never lose a count. Venting in the same house. Venting in the same Can I fit up my truth? I got nothing to lose. I got problems and fools. I can swim with my fate. Cameras moving whenever I'm moving. The family suing whenever I make. Murder his It's time for the AFC Championship. So now the Colts backed up to start their initial drive. Try and start this drive in the air. And he finds Danny Amendola. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to him. Back to throw now on first down. Out of chance quickly to Pittman. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. And there's a good opportunity to just run a ride there, a drop pass. I guess that's why they call them running backs and not catching backs. Second and ten, again from the 41. They'll run. This is Jonathan Taylor. And he'll get about three here up to the 44-yard line. And now a stoppage. And looks like we have a Colt who was shaken up on that last play. But the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look. And we will take a short break. Finds his big tight end, Mo Alley Cox. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos 30. They'll look to throw here. The left side, it's complete. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. It's first and goal. A chance for the first points of this AFC title battle. to throw here. Now, quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. Coaches talk about it all the time. Players talk about it as well. Excellent job staying disciplined in coverage and making that stop. Inside the red. And he takes this one in for a close touchdown. Jonathan Taylor, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Colts are on the board. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Credited with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Again, it's Taylor. Takes this to the 27, give him four yards. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you gotta continue to try and run it, try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. And this is what you want to see from a defense. Give up an opening drive touchdown, that's fine. <laughs> 